And still on the matter of the lockdown, I'm now joined in the studio by social commentator Ani Huvi Ayeni. Good morning. Good morning. Ella. And good to have you this morning. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and good to see you. Yeah, so you saw different sentiments and different reactions there on the lockdown. But, you know, what, what, what do you think? What do you make of all of this? The, the, for what I make of it is that they, like, like we were, that we're talking about novel coronavirus. The mm -hmm. coronavirus is real. The virus is real. And one of the intricate things about the virus is this. Until it gets into the human body, mm -hmm. you don't know how your body can contain it. Right. When I was young, I grew up having asthma. I, my asthma case, I grew up from being given a ventolin to soothe the asthma mm -hmm. to the extent where I was being given intravenous injection. Now, when someone is being given intravenous injection for asthma, you know that is another level of asthma. Right. But the coronavirus, from what I have seen of someone that has a coronavirus, the, the, the violence erupts right from inside the body. And it's a, it's a, very, it's a very hard feeling. Mm -hmm. Until your body actually gets it, you don't know what it is like. Why, why I'm saying that is because this coronavirus virus is real. Mm -hmm. And if government is saying stay away, if they are working on measures to control and contain this, what they are doing is right. Now for the citizens to get upset is real. It's, it's very, it's, well I'll say it's accurate or they are supposed to because every single day they go out and they go to work. They go out to hustle, they come back with their money and they feed their families. But now you're telling them they cannot do that. Not for one day, not for two days, for 14 days. Mm -hmm. And what is going to happen after that? One of the things that I, I, I think should happen at this time is that the government and private individuals in all the sectors, at the entertainment sector, should step up, as in the advertising sector, mm -hmm. the food and beverage sector, step up and do those things for people that they would usually buy. Give it to them in a way that makes people feel good. Mm -hmm. The billboards, for example, yes, they have been paid for. What is stopping the billboards from showing comedies? What is stopping the billboards from bringing back old programs that used to make Nigerians laugh? Right. The tales by moonlight that we enjoyed as children. What is stopping the, the TV stations, NTA, from showing all those old programs, from those, those fun programs that people enjoy? Mm -hmm. Th those ones cost nothing. And because the whole world is involved in this, you are not saying you are looking for extra money to show this. We are talking about the beverages, Coca-Cola, bring in adverts, bring in things, bring mm -hmm. your Coca-Cola, bring your Pepsi, bring your indomie, bring something. Let people see when they come out. Let people know when they reach out mm -hmm. that there is something that I can get mm -hmm. that makes me feel good. Because this feeling is real. And people staying home for 14 days, that is a long it's no time. Joke. It's no joke at all. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I mean, uh, you also saw one of the uh, uh, interviewee there saying that uh, the danger is not even coronavirus. It is the fact that people will die of hunger. Now, we know that Lagos state government, for instance, you know, is distributing some few food items. But the question is, how do we know? How do you determine those who need it? And how, uh, how is this going to get to everyone who need, needs it at this time? Uh, and looking at what the governor has said, the governor has said they've, there are some local governments they've started with, with 200,000 getting to all those people. Mm -hmm. And he says that from the reports getting to him, the actual target people are getting the material. Now, will everybody get it? That is what, their, that is what the plan is. But this is one, one of the places, I believe, Amaka, that the, the, the community mm -hmm. sense of living, get, uh, the community sense of living that we have in Nigeria, the community sense, the responsibility, the caring, the mm -hmm. sharing, the compassion of people comes out. In the estate where I'm coming out from today, the residents have already put together close to a million. Mm -hmm. What do they want to do with that money? They want to pay the security guards who are, going to be, who are going to be there for the whole of that time. They want to buy food stuff and give to them so that every single day they have breakfast, lunch, or dinner, however they want to cook the food to eat. They're not just keeping it to just where they are. They are reaching out to all the communities around mm -hmm. them. And yes, the, the, no matter what you do, people who are, who are grieved by it will always be aggrieved by it. Right. But what I'm saying is that there are things that are happening, that even when the government is not getting to them with a the pack, there are communities that are reaching out to people. Mm -hmm. And the message, right, because people will watch this, is if you have something, if you have two, give to the next person. If you have three, give to the next person. Mm -hmm. Do what you can. A woman said she was going to cook packs of rice 
for her security mm. guards for that afternoon, that she will cook packs of rice and then later on she will do something else again. So there are people that are rising up to the occasion right. to say, what can I do to help? Mm -hmm. And actually reaching out to help. And if anyone really does need help, and you don't really have it, reach out to people that you would not have before. Mm -hmm. They won't say no. All right, I mean, you have raised a very important point that, that this lockdown is also showing who we are as a people, as a nation, as a community. And now, um, you know, there's been other conversations like, we are very opportunistic people. You know, we take opportunities like these and want to hike fares, hike prices for things. Whereas we are in a pandemic, we are in a global crisis, in a situation that affects us all. Um, how do you respond to issues like this? You know, when people have increased fares of food items, uh, transportation, for instance, not maybe the regular transportation, maybe they have increased, but particularly there are transport system that we know, the hailing uh, transport system, which, who for some reasons have increased their fares, doubled it and tripled it. Whereas we're in the situation together, how do you respond to that act? Well, to tell you the truth, some people in actual, that's the, uh, that's the reality of life. We live in a capitalistic system where the bottom line is how much are you going to make from it. Mm -hmm. So there are people who have that business sense, whether there's a pandemic or not. As long as they believe that they have worked their own environment to gain from a particular position, they will have that mindset and they will take it into it. What I, what I, the message I will say to those kind of people is, at this time, why don't you cool it down? Mm -hmm. Cool it down. Because whether you have, whether you make 100,000, you make 50,000, there is no point in mm -hmm. making a hundred or fifty thousand when there is nothing you can do with it. Right. There is nothing anybody can do with anything right now. Mm -hmm. This is a time of giving. This is a time of reaching out. Mm -hmm. This is not a time of accumulating. Yes, maybe you say, okay, I will accumulate this now so that after all this is over, the we rules will change. Yeah. The rules will change. The way we travel, the way we do things is not going to be the same again. Mm -hmm. Do you think that after this coronavirus, everybody is going to come out and say it's business as usual? Anybody coming out to say, think that is business as usual, looking at it from the business sense, looking at it from administrative and management sense, anybody that thinks it's business as usual after this coronavirus has not looked beyond the moment. Mm -hmm. Look beyond the moment mm -hmm. and look at the now. Mm -hmm. Let's fix the now, but also think into the future that things are going to change. So what can I do within myself, mm -hmm. within what is around me right now to make a change for the because future? Because obviously COVID-19 is changing reality. It is. Before I let you go, now let's talk about the home front. You know, how should parents and people who have got children, who, those who must have to work from home during this time, how should they manage the situation of having to be locked down inside and still be expected to deliver? How do you handle the home front and work, you know, you know, the commitments that you have during this period. I think this is a time for parents to care and share with their children. What are those things that mommy loves to do? Include your children, include your boys, include your girls. You know what we're going to do today? Today we are baking a cake. Today we are, we are making cookies. And have a routine around what the children need to do. The children need to have time for schoolwork. They also need to have, to have time to play. Then try to start having family time where everybody is allowed to talk mm -hmm. about what is actually there. And parents will be surprised the things that they will hear their children say, mm -hmm. the things that they will not have had time to listen to before. But now they have time to actually relax and listen to what the children are saying and feel the pulse from their end. The children can now appreciate the pulse from daddy and mommy's end. Because daddy and mommy don't have to go to work. There's no rush. Mm -hmm. There's nobody rushing anywhere. Everybody is at home. So they can now feel the pulse. Everybody knows about coronavirus. Right. And they know about the effect on everyone. So now it's time for parents to really actually listen, hear their children. If anybody plays music in the family, maybe you have a time where everybody just listens to music mm -hmm. and plays the music and share it. It's a time of caring and sharing. Sharing as a family. What are, what are the things, what are the values, what are the skills in the family? Mm -hmm. This is a time to discover. You can discover whether your boy knows how to bake. Mm -hmm. You can discover whether your boy has learned how to sew because he has seen you sew. You can discover to learn whether your boy has learned how to ride a bicycle mm -hmm. because you bought him a bicycle. Mm -hmm. And if he hasn't learned to ride a bicycle, let's go out and ride the bicycle together and see how it feels. Mm -hmm. So just maybe there is need to also to see the positive, the positive in all of this. In all of this. Thank you so very much for your conversation and your insights there.